Tom Thompson must be one of the most famous names in Canadian art. Everyone knows Tom Thompson. But do they really? I, I actually have been looking at Tom Thompson for so long now, and actually very little is really known. Now, why? Because he died young. But not only that, uh, he was 39, he was just short of 40. But he died after only really five years of painting and really only three years thinking of himself as a potential professional artist. So there was no fame, there was no fortune, he hadn't actually made it and he could have sunk with that trace but he didn't because he's a genius. So what are you going to see here? We're very fortunate that an accident of art history really applies to Tom Thompson which is that he was part of that movement that was going out into the Canadian countryside, looking for a kind of archetypal Canada to record, at a moment in the history of art where the influence of post-impressionism and various isms from Europe were flooding over. And so the great liberation of color and brushstroke and expressive things happened at that moment. And then the other great accident is that if you're going out into the wilderness, there are no roads, you know, very little in terms of rail travel. You had to camp, you had to portage, and you had to be able to paddle a canoe. All of which Thompson did from childhood. The thing about that is, you cannot take a great big canvas in a canoe. So what you have to do, and what the Canadian uh, artists did, was to create a lightweight box which contained their paints, and it had slots in it. So you had pre-cut pieces of wood that you put into the slots and you used them to paint on. That was unique, really, to Canada. And then you took those sketches back to work in the studio later on an easel. The thing about Thompson was this process, which could be just pragmatic, uh, a way of recording immediate responses to the landscape and then do the real painting later in the studio. It was the small oil sketches, as we call them, that he did on the spot, in the open air, fighting off the bugs. Those were where his genius suddenly emerged. And so, in the three or four years of his tiny career, he produced over 500 sketches that are amongst the miracles of Canadian art, and some 35 large paintings which he did in the winter, sitting surrounded by some of the best here. So that's what you take away from this show. The revelation of a genius, because that's what he was. It's, it's mystifying how he did this responding directly to the landscape in these small paintings the size of an iPad. He captures the whole of Canada in this tiny rectangle. It's absolutely remarkable. But the point I want to make and that people need to realize is if you look at the dates on these paintings all the way through, this is a large show, what, 130 objects Look at the dates. It all happens within about three years. The earliest thing is 1912. The last, of course, is 1917. Two really early things look like they're by a different artist. By 1917, Thompson is there in all his glory. Five years. So, the Jack Pine behind me. Everyone thinks of it as the culmination of a great career. It was the beginning of a career. He died that spring before he should have done. But there's no such thing as early or late work really with Thompson. It, it, it really just all comes in a, a tremendous fever of activity over three or four years.